Hello and welcome to Fire Coda. In this video, we are going to install and configure Codeigniter Shield in Codeigniter Framework. Codeigniter Shield is the official authentication and authorization framework for Codeigniter 4. These are the authenticators that the Codeigniter Shield provides. Session Authenticator provides traditional ID and password authentication. Access Tokens Authenticator provides stateless authentication using personal access tokens that are passed in the HTTP headers. HMAC256 Authenticator provides stateless authentication using HMAC keys. And JWT Authenticator provides stateless authentication using JSON Web Token. And in this video, we'll be focusing only on Session Authenticator, that is using username and password. Uh, the session authenticator stores the user information in the session uh, for the subsequent requests to authenticate against. With that intro, let's jump right into installation and configuration of Codeigniter Shield and Codeigniter Framework. To get started with, we need to have Codeigniter Framework installed. I have made a video on how to get started with Codeigniter and Visual Studio Code. And this is the continuation of that, so make sure you watch that. I'll have a link to that in the description or you can check out the link that is shown on top of this video because everything that we're going to do here now is in Visual Studio Code. Here we have the Codeigniter Skeleton Application Framework open in Visual Studio Code. I'm going to run the application. To run the application, go to Command Palette, try and run commands and click Start Website. This will take us directly to the home page of the application. This is the home page. Uh, we want to allow only authenticated users to access the home page. For that, we have to install Codeigniter Shield. To install Codeigniter Shield, go to Command Palette, Show and Run Commands, and click Compose Require Package. Enter the package name, Codeigniter Shield, Authentication and Authorization for Codeigniter 4. Select that. Codeigniter Shield is being downloaded and installed. This will also install Codeigniter Settings. The download is complete. In the vendor, uh, we have the Codeigniter Shield and settings installed. And in the routes file, we have only one route defined that is the route to the home page. Open routes. You can see that we have only one route. Next, we are going to create a database uh, for the Codeigniter Shield because Codeigniter Shield requires a database to migrate tables. Create database and database name Codeigniter execute the statement to create a database the database has been created this is the database created and there is no tables uh, so far now we are going to the terminal to run the Codeigniter shield setup before that, we have to configure database settings in the environment configuration file. Uncomment the database set, uh, settings. Enter the database name. Set the password for root account. Now go to terminal and execute the shield setup. To execute that, we have to invoke a PHP command, PHP spark, shield 
colon setup enter from email is not set do you set now type y and hit enter enter the email address from name is not set do you set now type y and hit enter enter your name run spark migrate now yes type y and hit enter so the migration is complete and the data tables are created in the database go to the database refresh and the we have created tables in the database now let's uh, run the application to see if it is uh, redirecting to the login page still not redirecting to the login page because we haven't configured coordinator shield yet to configure coordinator shield go to config and open filters In the filters, add the controller filters that the Coordinator Shield provides. These are the controller filters that the Coordinator Shield provides. Add this code in the aliases available. And to protect all pages of the application except login, register, or A, and logout, uh, this is the filter that we want to apply in the globals. Add that in the globals. And to protect uh, our application uh, from uh, being spammed by bots. Uh, use this uh, rate limiting and the filters add the auth rates to first password reset uh, apply this filter in the globals add the force reset filter this will force reset except for login register change password logout and or slash a now go back and run the application so we're getting we're not uh, a router to the login page because uh, we're using rewrite rule uh, to remove the index.php therefore our url does not have index.php so therefore we have to remove the index.php as you can see we have the rewrite rule set to remove the index.php go to the app file Remove the index.php from the index page variable. Now go back to the home page. Now this will redirect to the login page. The coordinator shield provides uh, registration. Here is the register page and 
for magic login link we're going to register and user enter the user email address username and password confirm the password clicking register will take us directly to the home page